In this video, we're going to talk about slowing down and controlling the enemy team. Also, as a quick reminder, I do live stream every Monday through Friday. Schedule will be on the screen now. Only, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central, and in today's video, I wanted to talk about some heroes that you can use to slow down a fast attacking enemy team, either on defense or on offense. And I say this as a Kark main, I have trouble with fast attack uh, Kira teams. And you know, I'll just show you a quick, uh, quick fight while I'm chatting about this right now. I died to Kira. My team dies to Kira. It just is what it is. You know, there are there are some hard counters in this game, and uh, Kira just happens to often beat Kark teams. Now, this video is not about a hard counter for uh, specific fast attack teams. Obviously, you can just throw in Helios against a critical hit team uh, like the Kira Sebastian Jet combo, and you'll be fine. Obviously, you could just do that, and everything would be great. I could swap out Martha. That would be the end of the story. But what I want to talk about are five heroes. Five heroes that you could use to help control and slow down the enemy team. And there are several heroes in this game that you can do that. But I just thought I'd pick out a couple of these based on what is popular right now. And I say that based on a couple of things. Uh, we have a lot of Kira teams out there. We have a lot of Kark teams out there. We have a lot of Ching Mao teams. We have a lot of Krista and Lars teams out there. So the first hero that I want to talk about... The first hero that I want to talk about is Fox. Now, Fox doesn't really get a whole lot of credit uh, when it comes to her abilities to control. She is um, a campaign hero, easy to get, and her her whole her whole essence, her whole ideal is wrapped up in the ability to control. She provides <clears throat> she provides the uh, the artifact weapon of uh, uh, armor penetration, so she's handy to have in a physical attacking team, but. When it really comes down to what she does, she does it okay. She, you know, she knocks back the enemy tank with her ultimate. She blinds the enemy front row. Right? Also happens with her ultimate. And just as a quick reminder, blind only works on physical attacking heroes. So this will only work against enemy Karks, enemy Ching Maos, and uh, enemy uh, enemy Kiras. This does not work on magical attacking heroes. Uh, Cannonade does damage, but Concussion, however, Concussion does stun the target. So this this will this will stun the frontmost target. This will stun the tank. So while not not a huge help to control the enemy team. If you can blind the enemy Kark, if you can blind the enemy Kira for one round of attacks, it could be enough to allow your team to survive. It could be enough. It could be enough. So that's the first hero. That's kind of the first hero. The second hero that I want to talk about is Anvari. Now, you guys know me, hashtag Team Bob. Uh, all, all Bob jokes aside, Anvari is a, an extremely strong hero extremely strong quite versatile one of the top heroes in the game on mobile for sure um on facebook he's less effective because his nature's barrier um, i'm sorry not nature's barrier uh his living earth skill doesn't protect his team the same way as it does on mobile but what we're talking about today is uh is this right here all right the the uh the ultimate ability is uh, a big damage that stuns nearby enemies for three seconds now um it's a it's one second longer than than your average stun the average stun being two seconds for your you know for your damage dealing and control heroes but the fact that this will uh this this will stun the entire front line is another fantastic counter to enemy kark teams enemy kira teams enemy ching mao teams uh any enemy team that has their damage dealing hero in the front my um my uh, Aurora team on my second mobile account uses Celeste as a primary damage dealer, uh, if not using Aurora outright. Uh, Invari is a great way to kind of control that front line. Now, obviously, you have to be able to hit, and you know Aurora being the queen of dodge, uh, she might she might dodge this attack. So you know, just something to keep in mind. Something to keep in mind. The next hero that I feel goes completely overlooked. Um, because of how difficult it is to get her soul stones is Arachne. Now, Arachne is, I used to call Arachne a noob trap. I did, but Arachne is key. She's key in countering some Kark teams. She does very well against a lot of teams, but particularly well against Kark teams. In fact, I think in my free to play account, I'm going to be using Arachne the most. So first of all, we have her ultimate ability. 
Um, this stuns the enemy front line for two seconds, similar to Anvari's stun. Doesn't quite do as much damage, but it is a magical attack, so it can't be dodged. Um, then you have her blue ability, which strikes the nearest rival and stunning all the enemies in the front line. This usually hits the enemy tank and stun all the enemies in the front line. This is a three second stun. And then her, uh, her neurotoxin is, you know, is a little bit of a poison. It's not a big deal, but the fact that she's able to frequently roughly every 10 to 15 seconds, stun the entire enemy front line for three seconds. And this is a guaranteed stun. If you guys are equal level or, 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 uh, or higher from the enemy, right? Most, again, most of the enemy damage dealers, if they're in that front line, you know, we're talking, you know, warriors that are up front. We're talking enemy tanks that that are that are effective, like Galahad and Cleaver and Luther. Uh, of course, we're talking about Karks and Kiras. This will stay uh, stun those those enemies for three seconds, and that's a long time. That's a long time for Kark to not have his ult, and, and for Kira to not auto attack all that pure and critical hit damage. You know, so she effectively has two stun abilities that you know do very well not only that she has got one of the coolest skins in the game in my opinion uh, i'm not sure how i i need to do a skin ranking video also but this these mechanical skins these mechanical skins are some of my favorite skins in the game that's just a little bit of a, <laughs> a little bit of an aside so the other hero this is uh this is the next hero that i want to talk about that does control very well lian and the the reason why I wanted to do this video ultimately is because we had a Lian event recently on mobile, and Lian is waifu. If you guys are familiar with my uh, live streams at all, I make a lot of jokes about how much I uh, how much I love Lian. Um, but she's she's the queen of putting enemies to sleep, and her whole kit is designed around controlling area of effect damage. So using this violet ability right here, anytime Lian takes damage, she puts that enemy to sleep for four seconds. There's no way to resist this. You can remove the sleep, you can remove the charm, I should say, with um, you know debuff removal effects like from a Sebastian on Facebook, a Nebula on mobile, or a, uh, a Celeste. You can remove that charm effect, but this will this will incredibly slow down the enemy Kira, the enemy Lars. Um, if Kark hits her, if Orion hits her, if I don't know, Cleaver hits her. So you have this. You also have her enchantment, her ultimate, which will put the entire enemy to sleep for seven seconds. This cannot be this cannot be avoided. If you're in, if your enemy team does not have a way to wake up your team, then then two to three to five members of the enemy team will be asleep for seven seconds if your team is built to take advantage of that charm. And you know, if if an enemy hits, I'm sorry, if you hit an enemy that's charmed, then they wake up. Um, unless it's Leon hitting him. So Leon is Leon is the queen of mass area of effect. But we can't have a video like this talking about slow down and control without talking about possibly the number one hero in the game, possibly the most used hero in the game, Jorgen. Jorgen's toolkit will slow down the enemy in a number of ways uh, having to do with energy. But it's a different tactic than what we've talked about. Most of the other tactics that we've been talking about have been uh, stunning, blinding, and charming the enemy. Uh, Jorgen will stop stop the energy. Um, I'm sorry, sorry, stop the enemy from gaining energy for a large amount of time. His ultimate affected enemies cannot gain energy for nine seconds. This is not. This is not. Cannot gain. You know. This is not slowing down the energy gain. This is completely stopping energy gain for nine seconds. Frontline heroes are those heroes that are listed as front line. So Kark, Kira, Jew, Tanks, uh, Krista, lots of, well, maybe not Krista. It depends on the positioning, I guess. But this, this, this is incredible. This stops the inner enemy's energy gain. They can't do their ultimate. They can't use their basic attacks. I'm sorry. They can't do their, their uh, synergistic attacks. Uh, you have this, which is a shield. Leper, though. Leper is another interesting... <clears throat> excuse me, uh, interesting ability that um, doesn't really matter for the sake of this video. But if you build your team effectively around this skill, it's a fantastic skill. But the other one, the other one is Tainted Wounds. Now, Tainted Wounds is an energy steal. Okay, so every time Jorgen auto attacks or basic attacks or whatever you want to call it, he steals energy from that enemy. So often what will happen is Jorgen is going to be stealing energy every basic attack from the enemy tank. If you have another hero on your team that pushes the tank back, like a Faceless or a Fox or you know any number of other heroes that can do a pushback, then all of a sudden you're stealing enemy from that second hero in line, which is often 
that big damage dealing hero. On my team, it's Kark. On the Blender team, it's Kira. Uh, sometimes it's Ching Mao. But um, Jorgen is the king. Jorgen is the king of controlling the enemy team. The king. Obviously, all of these heroes can be countered in one way or another, but we're talking about slowing down and controlling teams that are attacking very quickly. Uh, a little bit of an honorable mention, because we've been talking about a bunch of physical stuff. A little bit of honorable mention, I want to talk about two heroes for magic teams. Now, Thea, being the first healer that you get in the game, is quickly discarded as too weak to use. But I would contend that Thea is one of the better healers in the game. She's got some great skills that I don't really want to cover here too much. But what she has that's very effective against slowing down magic damage teams is her Vow of Silence. This will silence enemies for three seconds. It's effectively blinding them if they were a physical attack. So silencing means they can't use their magic attack skills. There are some nuances to what I just said. Some heroes that have passive magical things can still do them. Some can't. We've been debating it a while on my Discord, probably for the last 10 days or so, why this hero can, but this hero can't. Um, if, if you guys are interested in some high-level discussion on the silence ability, please join the Discord. We've been we've been arguing about it for a while. Having having the entire enemy team silenced for three seconds will slow down the enemy Kristas, the enemy Lars, the enemy Satoris, um, enemy healers. Um, all kinds of fun stuff can happen when you silence them. And, you know, Thea has a magic defense artifact weapon as well. Very helpful against magic damage teams. And the other control hero that I want to talk about for magic attack or to counter magic attack is Dark Star. Now Dark Star has this um this ultimate right here. Of course she has her her control ability. Forces the nearest target to fight on the caster side for 4 seconds. This is a pretty effective control ability. It I wish that you can you could actually tell it when to use it. If if this were if this were Dark Star's ultimate ability, it would be significantly better ability. But since this fires off at random, it's hard to control. But Black Arrows shoots two arrows at distant targets, damaging and stunning them for three seconds. So this is a stun on the back line. And even if your Lars is hiding in the fourth position, maybe your enemy team is using Lars and Martha in the back. That that kind of protects Lars from that rear damage that you see on some heroes like Ju uh, and uh, and Jorgen. But if you if you use Dark Star and Lars is in the fourth position, this will still hit Lars. Now at at super high levels, this becomes less effective of a of a control ability. But this nonetheless, this is a good way to counter an enemy Lars if you happen to have leveled up a Dark Star. So. Let me know in the comment section down below, what do you think about controlling the enemy team? Uh, some some players just prefer to slot in the hard counter. Um, for example, with my uh, with my you know blender team here, if if I just use, well, let's go ahead and do this. If I just slot in Helios instead of Martha against this team, if I just slot in Helios versus Martha, I usually have a much better time of it. Uh, it depends on critical hits. It depends on a little bit of a randomness with faceless, but often is the case. Just plugging in Helios is enough to counter the enemy team. But that's not what we're talking about. That's not what we're talking about. Yeah. Die Kira team. Die Kira team. We're going to get there. We're gonna get there. So on screen now, we're gonna talk. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a couple of videos that you might find interesting. Um, the first one is a how to counter Galahad video. Um, pretty controversial video, but I I still think it's uh, pretty interesting. Um, and then we have a couple more videos talking about different heroes that we've discussed in this video. I've got a Jorgen versus Anvari video linked, and um, <clears throat> excuse me. I also have one of my uh, one of my Leon videos since we just had the Leon. Uh, event on mobile not too long ago. So check those videos out if you're still interested in, in learning more about control heroes. Uh, until then though, I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.